What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new. If you like it here, uh, definitely be sure to check out some of my previous videos. I've got a ton of videos on my 1997 OBS Chevy truck build um, up on the channel that I think um, well, you could find them pretty useful if you're uh, looking to build up your own. But anyway, it has been a hot, very, very hot minute. Uh, since I've done anything to the truck and I figured I'd make just a little video on what I'm going to be doing to the truck Last thing that I've done to it is uh, put the brand new freshly painted mirrors on it I've got a lot of things that I need to get done before Lipsa Truck Nationals here in just a couple of weeks It's coming up so so fast and I am not remotely ready for it I mean personally I'm ready to go but uh, the truck is not ready um, So anyway Everybody always knows the uh, the cargo switch and everything and one of the switches is very very highly sought after It is so hot out here That it fogged up the lens. Yeah Anyway, everybody always knows that one of the most highly sought after pieces to the interior of these trucks is the fog light switch OE fog light switches. I think they only came in like the 2000 uh, Cadillac Escalades 99 to 2000 Yukon Denali of course fit in any of the trucks that have the newer style DAC. Now this is not something that everybody's gonna care about, but uh, for me, I like to maintain a pretty good factory look um, inside the truck. That's why I've, I've still got the factory console. I've got the factory seats, the headliner's still factory. The only thing that I've really touched and changed out is the lights. And uh, for those of you who wanted an update on those RGB lights, they are still in the truck. Everything's still working smoothly and as it should. I've got no complaints there. But I did pick up the fog switch on eBay. I think I paid around 30 bucks for it. Uh, they gave me a decent amount of pigtail. And what you could do is you put this in your dash, like you know, your cargo switch where your airbag is and uh, stuff like that. And these things are really hard to come by anymore. And uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. As like many of you guys, I've got a switch, that black toggle switch up there. I used to use that when I had the fog lights on the front of the truck. What we're going to be doing is going to be taking all that out and putting the fog light switch in, uh, which that requires this little piece. Something else that's a little bit harder to find is an empty uh, trim piece where you could put your own switches in. And that's going to clean up the look of what we've got going on there a lot better than it already is. All right, like I said, it is absolutely ridiculously hot. It's like... 90 with the heat index of like 107 and what I could do with this just pull this thing out I can pop that off and that allows me access to all of my switches as you see I've got the wires uh, these wires have been here for years we've got that going on here's the cargo lamp switch and then of course the airbag and from what I understand these two switches should slide out of here and I should be able to replace it with this little bezel and add my cargo or my fog lamp switch. All right, so now we've got this little switch bezel out of the truck. Everything is unplugged. It's right here. You're supposed to be able to slide these switches out of the actual bezel. Uh, that way you could use the empty slots that I've got and slide them right back in. Now in order to do this cargo lamp switch, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but you've got to squeeze these little bitty tabs right here. There's four of them. There's two on each side. You gotta squeeze those together and then your switch just slides right out of that bezel. Okay, and the uh, little passenger AC control, that's a little bit more difficult to get out. You have to have like at least four hands and a screwdriver and you have to push these little metal prongs in because they actually lock in place on the tabs on the side of this thing. Uh, but this is now empty. As you see, we've got the toggle switch that was installed ages ago um, for the lights. So we don't need that anymore. What we're going to do is we're just going to slide the new switches in this trim panel and then plug it back in and then everything should be good to go. Okay, so I uh, stepped outside a little bit because it's not a thousand degrees out here. Being inside of that truck literally feels like we're standing on the surface of the sun. Uh, but we're going to set this up the same way. We've got the uh, passenger airbag, which is only going to go into one hole. So that's always going to slide into the very bottom, like so. we got the passenger airbag in there. Got our cargo lamp switch, which came stock with the truck. Slide that guy in there. And we're gonna add the brand new fog light switch. Which doesn't seem to fit in this bezel. 
So that's something that I didn't know. I thought they were the same size. That's interesting. Turns out the fog light switch is actually the same exact size as the airbag control. So that kind of puts us in a little bit of a predicament. Um, I found the bezel on eBay along with the fog light switch. So maybe I might be able to find the bezel that actually fits that switch. I'm going to do a little bit of research and everything, then I'll get right back with you. Okay, so I did some research, some Googling, and this whole entire time I thought the fog light switch was like the same size as the cargo light switch. Turns out that it's not. People are actually taking their, uh, their airbag deal and tucking it away behind the dash and leaving that plugged in. That way the airbag light doesn't come on. Um, on your gauge cluster. So, I mean, that's something that you could do if you want to. I don't, I don't know. I really like the fog light switch. I like the way that looks, uh, but I will have to find either another cargo light switch or a even harder to find switch called the auxiliary light switch that I guess was only found in police Tahoes and some kind of fleet trucks. Um, I will show you guys the page I found it on. So we've got a forum that I used to visit all the time back in the day. Uh, GMT400.com and there's a huge listing on pretty much all the switches you can get and if we zoom in here we've got the aux switch we've got um, I think the DRL switch the fog light switch there's all sorts of different switches as well as the little bezels you could put them in so I've got the uh, the completely empty one which isn't shown here uh, but you can get all sorts of different bezels. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I may just end up tucking it behind there just because I do like the way it looks a little bit better. So if you want to just completely get rid of the airbag deal, that's an option. And you kind of have this little switch panel that maintains a completely factory look. Got the fog light switch here, the cargo light switch. Uh, you'll have to find another switch, probably another cargo light or something else for the top, like I said. And I guess people have been taking that little airbag deal and putting it behind the dash, which I have not done yet, uh, because you have to pull the whole front bezel off and uh, kind of tuck it in behind the instrument cluster. I don't really have, a, I've never used this, I've never turned the airbag off. I don't really know why you would unless you have a baby up there, uh, which isn't going to be happening in this vehicle anytime soon. Um, so yeah, that's an option, but it's just something cool to make your dash look a little, you know, more factory. You can get rid of some switches. You could wire up some rock lights or some fog lights or, or whatever you would like to do in there and uh, maintain a nice factory look. Like I said, uh, the fog light switches are kind of hard to come by. If you get really lucky, um, you can find one in a scrap yard. You can kind of keep your eye on eBay and uh, pick one up on eBay at some point. Um, I got mine, I think it was like 25 or 30 bucks, and they know that those switches are just a little bit hard to come by. Uh, just nothing crazy, nothing extreme, just a simple, you know, mod that you could do to the inside of your truck if you'd like to add some more switches and retain that factory appearance. Um, I learned something new myself as far as putting the airbag deal back behind the dash. I had no idea. I thought it fit, you know, in the, uh, in the little deal right above the uh, cargo switch, but I guess I was wrong. So we learn something new every single day. But that's about it for this video, guys. Please keep in tune to the channel for new videos. I've got a lot of new stuff coming out, a lot of things in the works that have got to happen really, really soon. So um, I'm really anxious as far as Live the Truck Nationals. It's really hot out here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Remember, once we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel, I'm going to be giving away a set of Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors uh, for whatever make and model or whatever model, I guess, year of Chevy truck. And those could be yours. I really want to do a giveaway. So let's get that goal met. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. We will see you in the next video.